Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I have come back with another tutorial today. I am going to be showing you how you can create this very pretty mini bubbly flowers right here. These are very popular among granny squares. You could also apply them in your other projects as well. However, my concept of this um, video today is to attach them all together and cre to create a blanket. Especially a mini blanket will come off really pretty, especially for the newborns. These are very nice and it could turn out to be a really pretty gift that you could create. I am going to be using a 3.75 crochet hook today and I will be showing you this tutorial on this blue color which you can apply it to any other color. You can also take any color of your choice. You can simply make these on singular color and attach them or you could create a multicolored as I shown you prior like this. So let's begin the tutorial. In order to create these beautiful flowers, I have taken a blue yarn today uh, from Red Heart and this is a turquoise color. I'm um, cute um, flowers. I'm gonna first create a slip knot. I like to create a slip knot. I'm gonna make a. Uh, I'm gonna wrap my yarn around like this. Insert my needle and pull through. Okay. Now I'm going to work the first part. I'm gonna I'm gonna work the first circle of the flower. In order to do that, I'm going to chain six. Now, to create a circle, I am going to insert my hook through our first chain and I am going to pull through and pull through again. Now, we do have a circle here. So, this is the first part here. This is the circle that we have created. Now, we're going to now we are going to do 16 single crochets all around this to create our first circle here. So to single crochet, I'm going to insert my hook like this, pull through, and pull through again. So this is my first single crochet, and I'm going to work through my second single crochet. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see it clearly. Okay, I'm going to insert my hook, pull through the yarn, and pull through again. So this is my third single crochet. I'm going to keep going until I reach my 16th uh, single crochet. So this is my fourth, five. Let me show you again in slow motion. So insert my hook, pull through, and pull through. You can leave your stitches slightly loose so that it bubbles up like this. Okay. So I'm going to work uh, my 16 single crochets here. And as you're working um, your single crochets, it's gonna get it's gonna get tight. So you're you can surround you can adjust it like that and make more room over here. Okay. I have completed my 16 single crochet all around the circle that we have created. Now we have to complete the circle. To complete the circle, we have to do a slip, slip stitch. So how we do that is we insert our hook through two lines here. This is our first single crochet we uh, created. Now we pull through and pull through again. So this is our slip knot. We have completed our circle by doing the slip stitch on the very first stitch that we made on the single crochet. Now we are going to chain three, one, two, three. Now we're going to do in 
five double we're gonna have to do five double crochet in one chain this is also considered one um double crochet so i'm going to do another four to make it a five and i am going to insert my hook in here in the same same stitch where this where this line is coming so i'm going to yarn over insert my hook pull through pull through two loops and we're going to do incomplete double crochets at this time so that we can have the pattern of our flower so this is two double crochet we need to do three more to complete our double crochet here we go so the four now we have and make sure you are making your work loose don't make it tight so that the flower is puffed up when your work is complete so we should have five double crochets initially one two three four five here five incomplete double crochet now we will pull through all these five loops and complete one chain now we're going to chain three so the next Thing we do is we are going to skip the next chain and we're going to continue with our third chain we're going to do our double crochets on this next stitch by by skipping this one so yarn over pull through and pull through again so we we are going to have to do five double incomplete double crochets here as similar to the first stitch here so i'm going to keep continuing five double crochet so now i have completed my double crochets here i should have a total of six because i did chain three here now i should have two four five plus the extra chain here so i should have six in total and i'm going to pull through all six loops now i'm going to chain three and i am going to skip this and i'm going to double crochet on the next one like this it's going to be the similar pattern i'm going to skip each step and i'm going to do five double crochets and um we will create the pattern of our flower okay this one also should have six lines here because we did chain three and we have this extra chain because of that so we should have five double crochets so we should have five lines plus one three chains initial chain that we did so after we do have the five chains here we will pull through all six loops and then chain three again okay guys i hope you guys are following through and um okay guys so we are going to skip this and we're going to do double crochet on the next we are going to repeat the same pattern and if you if you mess up you can definitely pull through and repeat your work so i'm gonna have to do five Double crochet here. So as soon as we have six stitches, we pull through all six stitches. It can be can be a little tight. So here we go. Chain three, same pattern here 
So it's the same repetitive steps. I'm just going to make five double crochets in one chain and the next chain I'm going to skip and continue with the next. I'm going to repeat that and I will be back at the very end and I will show you the results. Okay guys, I'm on the very end. So I have, because I had 16 single crochets, I should have eight five double, five, uh, double crochets complete because I have skipped a stitch. So because of that, um, so 16 stitches and I'm going to flip my work and I'm going to count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So now that means we have, um, our work is complete and accurate. Okay. Now I'm, I have completed the very end here. I'm going to chain three, two, three. And I'm going to attach it to the very first double crochet here that we did. You see there's an attachment here. I'm going to insert my hook, pull through, and pull through again, creating a slip stitch. Okay, now I'm going to get my scissors. I'm going to cut this, cut my work. And there you go. And I'm going to secure my work here. Okay. And I'm going to turn my work around and here we go. My flower is now complete. This is a very pretty flower. You can you can create so many different projects with this. You can create a blanket. You can attach these pieces and create a blanket. Create um you can create a mini baby blanket as well and it is super duper pretty uh, also I have to uh, show you guys how to seal your work so that this is invisible so let's do that you can also use a tapestry needle but I'm going to use my crochet hook anyways because I find it comfortable so we're we're gonna have to weave in this extra uh, yarn here so that it looks clean what I do is I just try to weave in through my bubble here. It's much faster with the, the needle, the tapestry needle, but this can also do the trick anyways. So as you as you work along, it gets invisible. There you go. And now I'm going to cut this extra yarn. I'm going to do the same thing with this and I'll be back. All right, guys. So my beautiful blue flower is now complete. Okay, so this is my final product. As you can see, it turned out very, very pretty. So this was... The flower that I worked on today and uh, the extra yarn that was popping out I did weaved in to make it invisible and it's much clean and invisible and it turned out very pretty so in summary to create this flower I chained six and completed a circle and I did single crochet all around the circle I did around a total of 16 single crochets and I started a chain of three, which also did consider it as a double crochet. And then I additionally added four more to make it a five double crochet. And then I um, pulled through all the five chains. And then I chained three. And then I skipped one stitch. And then I continued to the third stitch, created the five double crochet skipped another stitch, chain three, moved to the next stitch by skipping the stitch, and I worked around, all around, like this. So initially, this was my front side that I was working, so I flipped my work as this was puffed up, and this was my final result of the flower. My work is complete and I have all the flowers collected here and I can 
seal all this together to create a beautiful blanket. So guys, you guys can also create this beautiful project here and uh, comment below what you thought about um, thought about this uh, project. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.